Hey, welcome back to Atwood's Garage. I know it's been a while, been kind of busy. We've uh, gotten the Jeep ready to go. We've gone to Jeep Jam. Those videos are coming uh, once I get all the video collected from various people and sources. But meanwhile, I learned a few things. While I was there, my front drive shaft was hitting my exhaust on the driver's side. So we need that necessitated making a few changes. Another is on the long drive back, I superheated my fuel tank so we had a high dollar heat shield currently in place. we got uh, some insulative materials to clean put, put in there and uh, hopefully that takes care of it. If not, I'll probably have to relocate the, the tank further back. Hoping not to, I like it where it is. Anyhow, uh, to fix the drive shaft issue, bought some ACOS adjustable spacers. And around the back here, I have some hybrid springs. Those are the original Pro Comp four and a half inch leaves that I cut the eyes off and the top spring is a 2004 Ford Sport Track spring. It is 56 inches long versus a Cherokee 151 and a half. So I ended up using my front spring hole and moving the shackle back one more so I have a decent shackle angle. The axle is roughly in the same location as it was. I end up going about two inches of lift in the back and then it adjusted the spacers to match so I got two inches more up front gives me a ton more room as you can see if you look back there you'll see my exhaust system and my insulation's all shredded from smacking the drive shaft hopefully that'll stop now still need to get my track bar adjusted and drag link adjusted to have taken it for a spin Got the springs all settled out. She did really good at Jeep Jam. So the only issues I had really was the overheating on the way home with the fuel tank. And that was after an hour long drive. Uh, during the weekend itself, I had zero issues with it. Went through the mud, climbed the rocks, did the trails for a uh, fresh rebuild and swap and everything else. And everything else I did on this silly ass thing. Yeah, I'm really pleased. I couldn't be pleased more. Those paying attention of notes, I did add a Badlands winch buried in there under the grill. That is their regular 12K winch that comes with a steel cable. So I end up buying the rope to put into it and the hogs lead and the hook for it. Mounted it to my steering brace. Here made a great spot for it. Did take the box off of it. It's mounted up on the inside the firewall there. Snorkel's all done. Worked really well. Intake temps are roughly air temps. I'm getting very little heating, which is really good. I'm really happy about that. And let's see anything else new on here other than uh, the, the upcoming videos of Jeep Jam. In the back here. I still got a few things to do. I got a couple hangers yet to put on the exhaust. I really wasn't quite finished for Jeep Jam, but you know, it was enough to drive. Like I said, it made it through, made it through the weekend without any issues. So, just some detail stuff. I'm really happy with it. Run pretty good. Still need some tuning left on it. Shifting not quite the way I'd like to. Like it where to shift at. Uh, those changes can be made. I've got uh, the 231 modified in there with a Dakota box to work with the GM computer. I am considering getting a 241 Chevy box and put an SY, SYE in it. That might be this winter. Uh, the 231 box is a wide chain, six pinion box. SYE is brand new in it. It's only got a couple hundred miles on it. Been real pleased with it all. Anyways, just a quick update. That was the garage. If you like what you see, please like, subscribe, comment below. Till next time, we'll see you later.